few showers on our radar, some of them in western Nueces County, moving into Jim Wells County. These are pretty minuscule, but they're in and around uh, the eastern sides of Alice. Those will be gone. Uh, in an hour or two as we lose daytime heating. It's fairly quiet throughout much of the state. We'll catch one more day of these isolated shower opportunities with moisture overhead. That green hue stays with us and then goes away for the weekend. Saturday, a lot drier with high pressure building in over the region. That should cap the rain chances and it also keeps the heat with us. So uh, aside from tomorrow, I think most of the next seven days look dry. There's always that little chance for a rogue sea breeze shower to pop up, but given that the moisture levels throughout the atmosphere are starting to trend lower, I think the rain chances will follow suit. Highs will be within a degree or two of the middle 90s, 93, 94, 95 or so. A lot of humidity through Friday, so heat index is going to flirt with 110. Over the weekend, you'll see how the heat index values, they drop off just a little bit. We might only be in the lower 100s come early to middle parts of next week, and that has to do with just a subtle drop in the dew point values. We'll go from the mid 70s in this department, perhaps into the low 70s, upper 60s uh, into early next week, and that little change is enough to make a big difference on how hot it feels outside. Tropics, remnants of Gordon. Well, now they're calling it a tropical wave. This was a tropical storm at one point. Whatever uh, this does as it moves north, it would regain uh, the name Gordon if it can develop a medium chance there. And then the, this area we've been looking at, the Western Caribbean, is still posted for a 20% chance to develop over the next seven days. This would be a next week thing. And the data, you know, we're talking about a week's time. We might see this stretch a little bit farther to the west. It's possible we see some development in Campeche too, but this is something to watch. You know, yesterday we were talking about high pressure and what this would do. Data today is a little bit different. Earlier, you know, yesterday, this was wanting to hang out over Texas, but now we're seeing maybe a sign that it could be a little farther to the east. And if this gets way east, it still opens up most of the Gulf for this thing to move to the north. So this is something that we're going to have to watch. Uh, a lot of uncertainty, though. Does it even develop at all? Where is the high pressure center and how strong will it be if it does develop? All of that's in question. So keeping up with the latest important. We're still in the middle of hurricane season and we're not done yet. 78 are overnight low tonight. Southeast breeze four to eight miles per hour tomorrow. Hot mid 90s an isolated shower We're going to feel like it's close to 110 outside with the southeast breeze five to 15 miles per hour. Some light chop on area bays. Southeast breeze again four to 11 knots, just one to two foot waves at a fairly short period. Four seconds there and aside from the isolated rain tomorrow, I don't see a ton of you know change from day to day over the next seven days. We do move into fall on Sunday, but temperatures as they often do in South Texas say, I don't care that the calendar says <laughs> it's now fall. I am still yeah. to this day amazed 94 degrees on yeah. the first day of fall, but yeah. October it gets better. But yeah, yeah, mm. yeah well, it's not right. going to feel fall. We'll get there. Yeah. We're not going to worry about it. All right. Thank you.